boys and girls, Mrs. Freeland here. I have another reading lesson for you. Today we're really going to build on, as we read, figuring out those tough words we don't know. I think we've had a lesson about this before, haven't we? Back when we were reading um, our narrative text and we used all those tools to figure out words that we didn't know. Boys and girls, we can use the same tools in informational text. So I'm going to practice those tools with you today. When we run into a word we're not sure of, we're not just going to guess and keep going, even though it doesn't make sense. We're going to stop and figure out the word. And we want to make sure that word makes sense in the sentence so we're reading it correctly and getting our information correct. So one thing you can do is think about the word and think about, does that make sense in what I'm saying? Then look at the sounds. Are the sounds matching the sounds in the word? The sounds I'm saying, does it match the word? And then thinking, is this something that fits the story in the page I'm reading? So boys and girls, just making sure that the word you choose and as you read it, if it's a tough word, that it's the correct word. And if it's not, then you need your, to use your tools to figure out what is the correct word. Okay, so I'm going to read you this the animal book and we're going to practice some of those strategies making sure that we're figuring out those tough words because this has a couple tough words in it so it's called sea animals we can see the fish we can see the trail on uh, wait a minute boys and girls a trail on a fish does it make sense to have a trail on a fish? Does it start with a t, 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 t? Yeah, it starts with a t, t. And it ends with a o. But boys and girls, I have to take my time on those center sounds. T, a, a, o, t, a, not tur, t, a, l. Oh, does that make sense? A tail on a fish? Yes, there's his tail, right? So boys and girls, do you see how I took my time with that word? And I kind of saw the T at first in the L and I thought it was trail. But then when I took my time and checked the sounds and it didn't make sense to have a trail on a fish. But now that I see the picture, it makes sense to have the tail on the fish. We can see the tail on the sea house. Is that a sea house? Boys and girls. Am I being silly? Does that make sense? No. So let's see. Let's use our tools. Here we go. We can see the tail on the boys girls. Maybe you know what this is, right? Sea or horse. Seahorse. Oh, this is a seahorse. So maybe you didn't know that was a seahorse. Then you have to use your sounds to figure it out, right? But we know it's not a sea house. So boys and girls, making sure that word makes sense in your sentence, it fits with the book, and the sounds match, right? Let's do another one. We can see the tail on the sea other. Is this a sea other? Does that make sense, a sea other? Oh, maybe you don't know what this animal is. Let's try and sound it out. Sea, a, a, t, er. Otter, sea otter on the otter. We can see the tail on the dolphin, right? And it matches the picture. One more time, let's try it again. We can see the dolphin, we can see it break. Does a dolphin break? Well, let's see what he does. B -r. I see an E, breathe, breathe, breathe. We can see it breathe. Oh, are we seeing it breathe? Yeah, there's bubbles there. Does it make sense in the sentence that we can see it breathe because we can see bubbles? Yeah, it goes up to the top, right, to get the air. So boys and girls, that's what you're going to be doing today. Um, maybe put a sticky note on those tough words that you had to use some of your tools, and then you can share that with your teacher, um, the tough words you figured out. So you want to make sure and Think of the word, make sure it makes sense in the sentence. And for what you're talking about, make sure it goes with the book, that it fits the story. 
making sure the sounds that you're saying are the sounds that are in the word. Because when I said some different sounds, it didn't match the word, did it? No, we need the sounds that we say to match the sounds that are in the word. All right, be strong, boys and girls. Good luck on those tough words. I know you can do it.